First, I'd like to uh, acknowledge our new Pyatt family. Uh, everybody, everybody in the Pyatt family, thank you very much. Uh, secondly, our families from Iowa, from Oklahoma, and from Texas. So, uh, next, uh, our family, uh, the McKnight family from Tennessee, who have, who have done so much over the past two months, two days, to make this day a success for Claire and Cody. Thank you very much. Table number 10. Okay, uh, to the wedding party, uh, honoring Claire and Cody for the past two weeks and enjoying and participating in their activities. Thank you very much. You all look great. Uh, lastly, um, lastly, the uh, uh, the live music. Uh, provided tonight was by Claire's uh, new sister-in-law, Jet Pyatt, and, uh, and her younger sister, Joy Willis. So thank you very much for practicing and providing the great music. Um, Claire, you look absolutely beautiful. Mom and I are so proud of you. You know, uh, I've thought about this day and, uh, and how I would feel walking you down the aisle. And um, I have to say, well, it was all that I could do to keep from crying. <laughs> you, you'll get that if you know David Allen Coe. And if you don't, that's okay too. So, uh, Claire, you've, you've always made good choices. You've... Um, You've always walked with the Lord, and um, we know that Cody would be a good choice for you. Um, Mom has said that the worst she ever got from you was an eye roll. <laughs> and then you quickly apologized. <laughs> Claire and Cody, um, they, go to, they go to church together, they read scripture together, and they pray together. So, Mom and I know that uh, uh, you're well positioned to have a godly, loving marriage. Congratulations on your special day. So, if you will all stand, we'll raise a glass to Claire and Cody. Remember, Claire and Cody, that the first duty of love is to listen. And that love is not about saying how much I love you, but what you do to prove it. A toast to the new bride and groom. Hear, hear. If anyone knows Claire well, which I'm sure all of you do, you know that she loves Scotland specifically and also Ireland. So I'm going to share a Celtic blessing. May God go with you and bless you. May you see your children's children. May you be poor in misfortune and rich in blessings. May you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. May joy and peace surround you both, contentment latch your door, and happiness be with you now, and God bless you evermore. May you live your life with trust and nurture lifelong affection. May your lifelong dreams come true for you, move ever that direction. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon your fields. May the light of friendship guide your paths together. May the laughter of children grace the halls of your home. May the joy of living for each other trip a smile from your lips, a twinkle from your eye. And when eternity beckons, at the end of life to heap high with love, Love, may the God, good Lord embrace you with the arms that have nurtured you the whole length of your joy-filled days. May the gracious God hold you both in the palm of his hands. And today, may the spirit of love find a dwelling place in your hearts. Father, we just thank you for the wonderful covenant of marriage. 
we just thank you that you knew that we needed a helpmate to make it through this life. For you said that he who finds a wife finds a good thing. And that when either of us falls, the other can help pick them up. Father, we pray right now over Claire and Cody. We pray that this time of excitement, joy, and love will fill their hearts whenever times get tough. We pray protection over them individually and as a couple, as we know that Satan seeks to first attack us where it can hurt us the most, which can be our marriage. We pray that this, as this union takes place, it is not viewed as a partnership with two lives being brought together side by side, but now as a three-quartered strand that you spoke of that is not easily broken. We pray that you will fill their home and their marriage with your presence always. Fill each of them with your spirit and help them to grow closer to you and closer to one another. As they each leave their parents to cling to one another and to you, let each of them attempt to outserve and outlove one another, being an example of Jesus' sacrificial love for us. Above all, God, we are so thankful that both Claire and Cody know you and have a relationship with you. And we ask that this marriage is one that glorifies you grows your kingdom, and is a beacon of light in this world. Amen. We love you both, and so let's raise a glass to Claire and Cody. <laughs>